I'm Steve Petra, and we are going to be exploring some techniques and concepts I like to use to bring a fun visual impact to my puppet performances. So, let's get visual. Let me introduce you to my recipe for visual puppet gumbo. Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna get sick! No, no, you're fine. I'm gonna throw off. No, be quiet. <laughs> That noise. Come on, you gonna read my mind? Okay. What are you doing? I'm looking up your nose. Wait a minute. Is that the last banana? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and pull out the donut. There's no such thing as a garble phone. <laughs> See, it doesn't work. <laughs> this is a piece of vine I got at a floral store. It matched pretty closely to what's already on the puppet. And this side is attached with a piece of fishing line. This way it has some bounce, has some natural motion to it. This is where the scenario stays intact and everything else goes out of control. I love this. All right, Julia Steezer, you sit down right here. Wow! Are you crazy? I forgot about that. Now I have a frozen caboose. No, 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 no. Seals do not balance pickles on their nose. Or, or, or. Ask the kids. You wouldn't let a seal balance two pickles on her nose, would you? This is Penelope's bucket, and uh, I believe the first prop was the handkerchief. We've had puppets coming out of the bucket. We've had sound effects coming out of the bucket. Ay, ay, ay! We got a problem here. Look, one more warning and no, 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 not the same. This is so much fun, and I use the same script every time. In fact, that line, are you trying to trick me? A running gag can be simply verbal, it can be visual, and it can have a sound effect. Look, 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 it's gonna hatch. It's not, give me that egg. Eggs don't hatch in 10 minutes. <laughs>